Hi everyone, it's Alicia here. I just tried a video before, but I don't think it seemed to work for whatever reason. So in today's Facebook Live, I wanted to talk to you about reasons why you should be building your fan page engagement in 2018 to move your business forward. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I'm not sure if anyone will jump on here because this is on my business page. But um, the reasons why you want to build engagement to your fan page is a lot of things and I will get back to them, but I'll tell you what they are now, but I will explain them a bit more. The benefits are it's going to build a deeper connection. It's going to build a deeper connection with your audience. It's going to, um, uh, the more value, and when I teach you how to do it, it's going to give, that's when it's going to give you that. Um, it's going to be also brand building, okay? It's going to help you build a custom audience and it's going to lower your cost per click dramatically. So there's some reasons why. And the way that we can build engagement on our Facebook fan page is for doing things like I'm doing now, Facebook Live. You could do, I've got this thing here, you could do Facebook Lives. You could do a blog post. But if you're going to do a blog post, make sure it's a really good blog post. One that's uh, got a really soft call to action that's delivering a lot of value back to people. Okay? Blog posts work really well, but again, you need to have that soft call to action because you want to try and build up and warm people up and build the know, like, and trust factor. The second thing is, uh, or third thing is videos. If you've done a video, maybe you've recorded some videos, training videos or uh, educational videos in Camtasia or on a different platform that you upload to YouTube, put them onto your page and uh, build engagement. The other one is images. Uh, you know, you've got your motivational images and you've got all this kind of stuff. They work really well. People do engage with them. But now here's the kicker, okay? So you've got all these things on your page, but you, no one is still seeing it. A couple of things you need to be able to do, and you need to be able to post up to four times a day onto your page. There is some uh, tools that you can get at, use out there called like Post Planner. Um, they create content for you. All you have to do is share it. You can use the scheduling tool if you've got enough content of your own within Facebook. That also works. And... They're going to help you to be able to leverage those tools to keep in front of people constantly. It's going to keep building up engagement. But the actual kicker about all this is we're by running some Facebook ads back to your page. So, for example, you've got a Facebook Live that you've done, then you need to uh, boost it, run an engagement ad to it, run a video views ad to it, and get people back to your page. But if you're going to do this type of thing where you're boosting or you're running a video views to build engagement, what we want to do is we want to have a soft call to action. We don't want at the end of it like go and download this now because it's not there to generate leads. So the engagement strategy is to warm people up, get people to know, like, and trust you and engage with them, okay, just like it says engagement. So we want a soft call to action. So, for example, if it was a blog post that you were po that you were boosting or running traffic to, then uh, just do like read more or uh, tell me more or want to find out more, read here. The other way that you can do a soft call to action is like comment below with questions, tell me more. If you're running something to Instagram, you want more Instagram followers, uh, follow us on Instagram, Okay. So there's some really cool soft call to actions that you could use underneath these types of content that you can create to create engagement back to your fan page, okay? Facebook Lives, blog posts, videos, and images. Uh, and like I said, if you're going to use a blog post, make it a one epic post. So make it a really good quality piece of content back to your website, okay? Promoting it, engagement ads, traffic ads, that kind of stuff. So... The benefits of doing all this is, like I said before, it's going to build a deeper connection with your audience because you're not hitting them all the time with a sale and with your stuff and, uh, you know, buy now, don't load now. They can be quite hard call to actions. So it's going to build a deeper connection. They're going to start to trust you a bit more. You want them to go and read your information so they can get to learn a little bit more more about you so when they see you again in one of those scheduled posts that pops up in their feed they will um, be more likely to click again okay
The other thing is it's going to give you a lower cost per click. So the more engagement you can get, um, your pixel and the Facebook algorithm will know this and you're going to end up getting a lower cost per click when you go to run other ads back, okay? It's going to help you build up the custom audience, but which in turn gives you that lower cost per click. So you can build up a uh, custom audience of, say, people who have engaged on this particular Facebook Live or people who have engaged on your blog post or people who have done video views on your video ad. Okay, so you can build up a custom audience. And then that's going to what is give you this because when people actually, they've already seen you once, seen you twice, maybe three times, and then you run an ad back to them, uh, the chances are of them engaging are going to be much higher. Okay. The last one is brand building. It's branding, building your brand up. Um, it's a soft approach so that people, uh, again, building up the know, like, and trust, building up your brand, building you up as a go-to person for whatever it is, the topic that you're talking about or that you, your business is actually about. Okay, so... That's um, reasons why you should build up your engagement back to your fan page. It's a really good strategy to use. And actually one more thing I didn't mention is by doing this also, you can get more Facebook likes over to your business page. And when you do that, you can also remarket to those people. So I guess it comes back to it's not really a custom audience, but it's still building up an audience of people that you can remarket to on Facebook. Okay, I hope you got something out of this and um, if you do want more information, obviously just put a comment below, tell me more, I'd love to know more and uh, I'm more than happy to give you a private message and help you a bit more out of this strategy. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much for joining me all the way to the end here. Bye for now.